It is a service that can help save lives. Text to 911 launched in the city of Grand Rapids in Kent County just over two weeks ago. Tonight we are checking in to see how that program is working. News 8's Amanda Porter talked to the city and county agencies all new tonight. Amanda? Text to 911 is slowly gaining momentum in Kent County. Both the Kent County Sheriff's Office and the Grand Rapids Police Department told me they're slowly gaining more texts each day. It's like texting anyone else, but help. 911, where's your emergency? It's on the other end of the line. You simply open up your text message application, whichever one you prefer. You type 911 into the two field, just like you would dial, um, and then type your message. We prefer that you include your location first. Since the launch on December 20th, Kent County dispatchers have received on average six texts a day and rising. We've really seen kind of the standard, um, the text from people that aren't able to make phone calls to us, um, as well as we started receiving some alarms via text message instead of a phone call, which has been beneficial as well. Police say the service can be especially helpful for people who are deaf or hard of hearing, or for those who are afraid to call. Both Grand Rapids Police and Kent County deputies have received and responded to credible texts in the weeks since the launch. That well, was a circumstance where a five-year-old child uh, was uh, observing his parents argue, and he and he used the uh, text service to, to get a hold of us so we could render some assistance there. It also worked for a 49-year-old woman in Lowell Township who texted 911 on Christmas morning. She had uh, alleged that she was assaulted and also uh, threatened that if she called or talked to anyone that she could be harmed. So she was able to uh, remove herself to a bedroom. She was then able to interact with our dispatch staff who stayed in continual contact via text message until our deputies were able to arrive at the house and she was able to let them in and they were helped who uh, they helped to be able to resolve that situation police say they still want you to call first if you can we get the most accurate and the best information when we're talking to you on the phone because it's live real-time information and our staff can hear what's going on in the background but they do expect text to 911 to increase we do. Over time, we do believe that it, it will. Uh, right now, it, it's in its infancy, and it's getting off to a slower start. But once it gets rolling, uh, we have no doubt that it will also serve its purpose. Um, it's serving its purpose now. Non-English speaking individuals are also encouraged to use the text service if needed. 911 to text can translate English into about 130 languages.